I got up at 3.30 in the morning. 3.30 is too early. It's now 4 o'clock. I've been up since about 3.30, but I've been doing other things. So I'm gonna check comments I got overnight. And uh, I think it started editing. These comments were from, let me try to get this straight, Vlogmas Day 4, which went live last night. And I'm about to edit Vlogmas Day 5 and I've already started filming Vlogmas Day 6. It gets a little confusing. So each of these is a video file for Vlogmas Day 5 that I've got to open and watch the whole thing and pick out the best parts and cut out the parts I don't want. So it takes some time. It's been taking close to two hours to do each of these videos while well, I'm getting up so early, but I gotta say 3.30 is way too early. A lot harder than getting up at four yesterday, but I'm gonna be going to, um... God, look at this one. I look terrible in that. That's when I got up at four. Oh my gosh. But that was kind of the point, I guess, to look so tired because I was. I'm miserable. I suffer for you guys to create vlogmas for you guys. I suffer. But I have to get up early today and do this because I'm going to the Galleria tonight to the Henry Bendel party and then walk around there so I won't have time to edit tonight. I just finished editing that video it is 6 30 now that was a really long video it took a long time to edit it turned out to be about 24 minutes my original plan was to keep these vlogmases around 10 minutes but i'm not being very successful at that so now after all that work and i'm still tired of course i am uh on facebook killing some time well not killing time but wasting time i guess Look at that doggy. He's so cute and sweet. Here's the outfit of the day. Jeans, this black top that's a little bit fancier than one of those t-shirts. I layered three long necklaces, some little earrings, and I've got my Louis Vuitton vintage Noe in the black epi. And then I'm gonna tie this either on the bag or through the loops. I didn't film the usual morning routine either since I'm going to the gallery. I figure I'll have plenty of footage. Why am I just filming down here? I'm looking at the bag. That's why that's not in the video. School's over and I finally had a chance to attach this bandeau, run it through all the rings there. What do y'all think? I like it. I feel like it should be tied or at least looped over. It's a little weird to have it hanging like that, but I still like it. I love that scarf. I think it's really beautiful. I love that it has the reverse and it has the earrings that I want. So I kind of have some reverse print and the earrings without having to spend all that money on them. Houston is perpetually under construction. As you can see, there's the freeway. We're down to one lane here. And that tall building there, which really isn't very far away, it's closer than it looks, I think, is where the Galleria is. It's just at the foot of that, right across the street. So that's where I'm headed. Right, I'm here in the parking garage. I don't come to the gallery very often, but when I do, I always park down by the Nordstrom, which is pretty much the farthest end. The gallery is kind of a T shape, and this is like the farthest end of the vertical part of the T, if that makes sense, like the foot of the T. That way I get some exercise, because Lord knows I need it. I hope this car has a handicap placard, because they're parking in a handicapped space. This is such a great place to shop for little girls. These guys are putting together a big menorah. I think Hanukkah's already started though. What's that about? Here is Santa at the Houston Galleria. There he is. That's him. This thing, I don't know if it's gonna come across, but it's a fountain and water falls from it. Here I think you can see it. And it falls down here, so it's three floors high. And sometimes they have music on in it. It's set up to be synchronized with the music. There's my Aveda store. There's the boyfriend's favorite store. There's a hotel attached to the building over here. That's part of what that elevator is. And that's the Henry Bendel store. That's where we're headed. I'm gonna ask if they will let me film a little bit of the refreshments and things in the store. Hi. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? Very good. Uh, thank you. You're welcome. Enjoy. Grab some champagne, we put it down one-handed. And try that one. Thank you. You're welcome. Hmm.
a little something at Henry Vendel. Sugarfina. Here's the ice rink and the big Christmas tree, three stories tall in the Galleria. So there's the end where Neiman Marcus is. And then probably not gonna be able to see it, but way, way down there is the other end where Saks is. And anyway, I just wanted to show you that tree and the lights and everything, it's so pretty. People love to stand up here at the railing and watch the skaters. And here we are guys at the mothership. We have this one and then there's a smaller one in Saks and another one in Neiman's. These are pretty tropical displays for Christmas time. We've got all these ornaments up and one of those weird cat bags. There's Chanel. Some interesting color there, sort of a bright orange. It's hard to see. So there's Chanel, and there's Neiman's, and there's Tiffany's. It's my favorite little corner in the mall. And now I'm going to show you my very favorite thing at the Galleria at Christmas time. The Houston SPA sets up here. Doggy. Cute doggy. They have kitty cats. There's one. Super cute. There's another one. Watching his friend play with the toy. And over here, I'm gonna try not to get the people in here. Puppies. Oh my god, puppies. Those are not puppies, those are stuffed animals. Puppies. That's the best thing in the world. Here's the Louis Vuitton store in the Neiman Marcus. It's very small. Tiffany's has the best window displays. That one's really cool. It's got pens and things kind of floating there. Gucci, they just moved into that location. It's the first time I've seen it. They used to be on a corner in a different place, but now they're right across from the Christmas tree and the ice rink. L'Occitan, I'm going in. All right, got a little something at L'Occitan. I wanna show you what I'm talking about with the hotel. First of all, they have that enormous flag there, but then those are hotel balconies. They're indoors. And this hotel is a skyscraper, basically. It goes up much taller than that. But they're there, and then there's an elevator bank, and there are more, there are more balconies on the other side. I think you can see the Christmas tree way down there. And now I'm gonna go up because there's some kids and I don't want to get them on the camera. So now I'm gonna go way down there to Saks. This is the newest wing in the mall. The Saks used to be pretty much where we're standing and then you walked through that and went to this other wing. But they changed it and made this just a big hallway and then Saks is uh, like an end cap. What's that called? I forget. But Saks is down there. Saks as promised. 5115 there is one of my favorite restaurants in town. I often go there after work and just sit at the bar and have a glass of champagne and a bowl of crab bisque. It's really lovely. Look at that display, it's so red. They have this staircase, which I love. It has this pretty wood and the railings are actually coated in leather. And then there's a bar downstairs. I came here for my birthday a couple years ago and sat at the bar and had champagne after I'd bought a little something from Louis Vuitton. Here is the Louis Vuitton in Saks. I feel like my commentary is pretty obvious, but this one's a little bit bigger than the one in Neiman's. And then there's a Dior back there. That's where I got my little scarf. And then there is a Gucci and a Prada. Coach has a really cute window display up. Let me show you real quick. They have all these animals that are dancing. There are these little rats and this fox. There's a frog up there. These guys, these pigs are dancing. And then these little squirrels. It's a good thing Baron and Roxy aren't here. Anchor stores. That's what those things are called. Department stores at the ends of malls. Anchor stores. I don't know how well these lights are coming across here, but they've got these blue star kind of lights on all the little lamp posts here and those trees are wrapped in lights, it's pretty. <sighs> I just got back home, it's almost nine o'clock. 
I'm usually in bed by now. I'm, I'm very tired since I've been up since 3.30. I cannot sustain this getting up at 3.30 thing. Four o'clock maybe, but 3.30 is a little ridiculous. So yeah, and I'm just gonna let you guys know now, this video might have gone up late. Um, I haven't even posted the video from yesterday. It's ready to go, but since I just got home, I haven't been able to post it, so I have to do that. I haven't eaten yet. So I need to find something to eat and do that. I should have gotten something while I was out, but didn't think about it. And I wanted to film the 12 days of Christmas and the reflection question and show you a couple of the things that I got back here because I want to open some of them up and use them, but I want to show you first. I was gonna save those for this weekend, but I think I want to go ahead and use some of the items. Anyway, so this video might be up late. It might be like a day late. It might even be two days late. My next video might be a day or two late. I might put up two videos or even three videos on one day this weekend to catch up. Um, I am still filming every day, but you know, real life. <laughs> Got a lot going on right now. Tomorrow is a really big day, so I don't think I'm gonna have much time to edit. It's gonna be another day like today where I'm busy the whole time and I'll be home a little late and <clears throat> have some things that I have to take care of that you'll find out when you see that video. It's a very big day. I'm a little nervous about it. All right, 12 days of Christmas charity today is Meals on Wheels and Anna Meals on Wheels. So of course I put this in mostly for the Anna Meals on Wheels because I'm pretty partial to animals. You may have heard of Meals on Wheels. This is where meals are delivered usually to elderly people or homebound people that can't get out and get groceries very easily. And they also have a program called Anna Meals on Wheels where they take food to the homebound people for their animals, which is really cool. If you wanna to donate to Meals on Wheels or Anna Meals on Wheels, find, just Google it and find your local chapter. You may even be able to volunteer. I think they accept monetary food, um, like dog, cat food, not people food, donations, as well as being able to volunteer to drive to places. The reflection question is, what was your favorite place that you visited in 2018? And we usually travel for, for most of the time that the boyfriend and I have been together. We've gone on a trip every year, a photography trip. He went to Arizona this year, but I haven't really gone anywhere. Not like a big trip like that. The reason for that is we're saving up for my 40th birthday trip. So we decided that for the year or two before that, that we wouldn't go on any big trips. We have done a couple of smaller ones, like going out of town for wineries, little day trips, but we had an overnight trip a couple months ago to Rockdale, Texas. And we went there for two reasons. We went there specifically because All Texas Docks and Rescue was participating in the Rockdale Music Festival, first annual. They had a local Docks and Rescue that was there sponsoring Docks and Races. I think I told y'all about that, didn't I? So Baron had been in one race before and he came in second to a girl that was wearing a frilly skirt and I'm convinced that he was distracted by her or he would have won. And we had only had Roxy a week when this event happened so I wanted to take her and see how she did too, just for fun. I didn't expect them to win or anything. Poor Roxy, she didn't know what to do. Baron didn't really know what to do either but Roxy especially because she didn't even know her name yet and she didn't really recognize us. At least Baron could see us and hear his name and run toward me. The second reason we went to Rockdale and the most important reason was that we got to meet my sister and brother-in-law's foster son. So that was really cool. By the way, I tried to find a quiet place in the Galleria to film this so you'd have a more interesting background than the room you're used to seeing all the time, but there was just not a quiet place. It was kind of busy even though it was a Wednesday night. And even in the quieter wings, there were people sitting talking on their cell phones and stuff that were kind of loud and I felt like that would be pretty distracting. So what was your favorite place that you visited in 2018? Okay, I'm gonna open up some of the stuff. The Claire's bag, I can't show you what's in there because those are gifts. I haven't really been in a Claire since I was a kid. I've been in a couple times, but man, I was shopping for some kids here for my favorite little cousins. If you're watching, hi girls. This stuff is for you. I spent like 45 minutes in the store walking around, looking at everything, soaking it all in, and trying to figure out how to get the best deals on things because they always have sales at Claire's. Henry Bendel, let's get into that one. Y'all know I went to that holiday party. I showed you that, and they'd sent me a $25... Um, stand up here. They'd sent me a $25 gift card. So I didn't want to spend much more than that. 
but oh, I hate it when people hold a camera in one hand and then unwrap things with the other hand and then have trouble with it. It's kind of, it, it annoys me. So I don't know why I'm doing it, but there we go. Henry Mendel, the uh, Manhattan Spice Candle that I really love. I've shown y'all this before. It's $15, but I think it was on sale for, it was $15, but it's 20% off, so it was $9. And then I got two of these Gardenia candles in the travel tin. And Gardenia is one of my favorite scents. It's just so pretty and lovely. So that's all I got at Bendel's. All right, I'm gonna take this over here to my chair and pull things out for you. I'm gonna set the camera up so that uh, I'm not doing this one-handed. All right. I've never bought anything from Loxitam before. I'm not really into bath and body stuff. You all know that. But I, what happened was I was watching Christina Brawley's Christmas, her Vlogmas this year, and she has this whole, she does some really cool stuff. She's got these little routines, kind of like I'm doing the 12 Days of Charities and the Reflection Question, but she has these little things that she does in every video that you can look forward to, and one of them is opening Advent calendars. So I've really enjoyed seeing that, and I started Googling interesting advent calendars, and I found this one from L'Occitane that is a fantastic deal. I was looking at other stuff on their website, and this you get, I'm gonna open it up for you. So it comes wrapped in plastic, but like with most advent calendars, you get 24 doors to open. And they're all little kind of sample size pieces from L'Occitane. If you divide the cost of this, which was $59, divide that by 12, it comes out to $2 and, I mean, divide it by 24, comes out to $2 and change for each item, which is pretty amazing. How does this go? Like this, attaches somehow. Well, there are little tabs to attach it there, so it'll stand up, but anyway. So there are doors, and we're already on day five, so I wanted to go ahead and open this, but before I do, let me show you the other two things I got. I got this almond hand cream. Oh, it goes like that. This almond hand cream for a friend who doesn't watch my channel so I can show it to you. And then once that was all rung up, I was told that I got my choice of two free items. One was a little ornament thing that had L'Occitane written on it and some logo stuff that I didn't think was very pretty but it had a couple little, had three little samples in it, which are all samples I think that are in here. Or I could get these two bars of soap. And I thought this was probably a better deal. I don't know what the original price on this might be. The ornament was selling for 14, but I figured this will make two gifts. The ornament would have made one unless I just divided up the three tiny samples. This would last a lot longer than the little samples that were in the ornament. So I don't know yet if I'll keep them or if I'll give them as gifts, but that was my idea behind this advent calendar was that these would be great stocking stuffers for people because I don't use this stuff mostly. There are a few things that I think I'd like to keep. A lot of it I think will be in people's stockings and it two dollars and something an item that's a great deal especially if you have a lot of people to buy for and it's a nice brand that i think a lot of people recognize and it's a little fancy so i think people would appreciate it all right we're gonna go ahead and open one two three four and five since we are on day five here we'll just break into them Okay, our first one, I'm gonna go try to go kind of fast with this, and I need my glasses, I can't see this. Okay, this first item here is a body shower oil. What is a body shower oil? I've never heard of that before. I've heard of gels and lotions and creams for the shower. I've never heard of a shower oil. Y'all know, I know nothing about this stuff. Let's look for door two. Here's three, let's remember that. Here's four, here's five. Where's two? We're missing two. There is no number two. Here it is, it's in blue, I didn't see it. Ooh. One thing I noticed, they have the list of all the items on the L'Occitane website. I can link this piece below if you're interested in getting it. And they are in stock and they had plenty of them in my store too. If this is, yeah, this is a hand cream. And these are, I wanna say $12 in the regular size tubes, which are one ounce. 
And these hand creams that are in here are 0.3 something ounces. So they're a third the size, but for me, I don't use, when I do use something like this, I don't use much of it. It takes me forever to use a whole product, a whole bottle or tube or whatever it's packaged in. So a smaller one for me is perfect. And it's a great stocking stuffer size and a great purse size. Door three. They're all on the bottom so far. Ooh, this one is one that I was interested in. Ooh, that looks like a good size. It's a Verbena body lotion. I smelled this in the store. I was smelling some of the different fragrances and this one, this one has a little bit of a lime scent to it. It's very nice. And the last one for today is door number five. What's behind door number five? Another tube. Nice, this is the Cherry Blossom hand cream. The scents of some of these things make me wish that I used this stuff. Those are lovely items, I'm very happy with them. I, I just think this is a fantastic deal. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot to tell you the coolest thing that happened this evening. My favorite sales associate at Henry Bendel, who a few months ago I went in and all the people were different. She wasn't there anymore. I didn't recognize anybody. The store looked different. I walked into Louis Vuitton and she's working there now. Her name is Becca and I'm gonna link her information below. So if you wanna make any purchases, whether you go into the Houston store or you wanna contact her from far away, she can ship you stuff. Becca at the Houston Louis Vuitton and this is the main store, not the ones in the department stores. Check her out below.